In today's video, we find out how many NPCs it takes to defeat the brand new Herald boss inside of Fortnite. This is going to be the first boss for me of this season, and here we go. If you are new around here, don't forget, looking 98% of you guys watching aren't already subscribed, so tap it. Let's try and get to half a million. It takes less than a second. Much love and respect to anyone doing that. Honestly, if you enjoy the content, tap it at some point. So the plan for today's video is to take NPCs over to the location of Boss Herald. Now, how are we going to do this? Because unfortunately, Boss Herald is not in battle lines. But luckily enough, Fortnite have added in a new feature which allows you to direct NPCs when you hire them. You can now command them to go certain places, which is perfect for this opportunity. So jumping into a public game, we're going to be able to command one of these three NPCs you can see here to move over to Herald. We'll start off with two and increase it if the Boss Herald wins and see how many it takes to actually eliminate the Boss Herald. How many NPCs will eliminate this brand new boss? Let's jump in and find out. Okay, we are now in the battle bus. Let's go and hire our first NPC, which is going to be located over at the Chonkers Speedway. This is going to be Stash we're going to be going for first. So we've landed in over at Stash. Let's pick up Stash. Let's hire him, simply as that. And now we can command Stash using our left and our D-pad. If you haven't already though, don't forget to pop in code post before you buy any battle passes, guys. It would mean the world to me. Anyway, with the new NPC command feature, we can order the orders for Stash to move to our set location. So I've got him here following me in the car and he's pretty far behind. You can see he's about 300 meters behind, but he'll get to us eventually. You can just keep pressing the order button and eventually Stash will get closer and closer. So cutting through a little bit, we can get closer to the castle and Stash is pretty far away, but he'll get here eventually. You know, he's, he's not too bad and eventually he'll make it if you just keep giving him orders. So we go up to the castle stairs and by the time we've actually entered the castle, Stash is already on his way. He's basically here. So we give him an order and he comes right to this location. Here he comes. You can see him coming up the stairs and Stash is going to be here. So now that Stash has arrived, it was time to take him in and actually have him challenge the brand new Herald boss. We can actually use different commands. So we're going to have him stop here, which puts him in crouch mode, and they're going to wait there. And me and my teammate both here are going to activate the button to send in our two NPCs into the location of the Herald and see if they can defeat the brand new Herald boss. Here we go. A little countdown for this, and we'll send them in. So let's go for it. As you can see they're located over there. Stash is moving in a little bit. We've got to wait a sec. Some having issues with the fish stick button. It's just not working. Give it a sec. Fish stick's on his way. There we are. The mod, the futuristic fish stick moving in the fish sticks going in stash is also going in they're moving in as fast as we can and they're about to fight but before we jump into the fight i just want to show you guys this this is my brand new toy grab map which i've spent the last four weeks building for you guys it is inside a toy box with two teams and inside of here you can capture one flag to win each team has to score nine points to win if you get the victory you get a lot of xp you also get xp for simply capturing flags getting eliminations and so much more this map's really going to help you guys out if you are into this and you do like the toy series this is one you guys are not going to miss Take a little screenshot right now if you're on a mobile device or watching on a TV or something Just take a little screenshot of the codes you can pop in next time you're on Fortnite Or pop in straight after this vid if you're already on Fortnite as you're watching this Give it a go guys, I'd love to have some feedback in the comments I spent a lot of time on this, I really am proud of the map So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do Okay, so jumping back in you can see our NPCs go straight in for the rush And they're taking on the brand new boss Herald straight in there Taking on the wolves, the chromified wolves They're going for the chrome wolves You can see we've got Herald in here, we've got Fished it, we've got Stash they're in the fight, the two NPCs battling the brand new boss. You see Fishstick and Stash doing quite a good job against the Herald's Wolves. The Chrome Wolves are doing okay. They're not the strongest, they're kind of the same as normal Wolves, a little bit more stronger, but they haven't got the best accuracy. Herald TPs to the other side on top of these stairs here. You can see the army's going in. Fishstick's going for it the best he can with his suppressed SMG, the brand new weapon in this season. Also on the other side, we've got Stash going for some rain shots. Herald does go into a ball again and she's now in ball form. And now the two NPCs have to eliminate the Chrome Wolves to get access to fire on the boss Herald. Herald. You can see we've got Fishstick and Stash trying their best. Fish Stash is still going for Herald here. Fishstick's doing okay. Stash then decides to take on the wolf. You can see they're a little bit confused what's going on. They do realize that they have to take down these wolves. These NPCs are taking down the wolves, which is really clever. I didn't expect them to actually do this. I thought they would just carry on shooting at the boss Herald. But she now TPs over to the other side. And you can see the two NPCs are trying their best to hit the boss Herald. Don't forget though, if you haven't already, let's tap a like on this video. Let's try and go for a huge goal of 25,000. Boss Herald's approaching the two NPCs. Stash taking a little bit of damage. Stash has his shield cracked here on the right. Boss Herald also got her shield pretty low. She goes into a ball form again. Summons in the two wolves. These two wolves are going to tack down the NPCs, doing a lot of damage to them. The wolves are what giving the NPCs a disadvantage here. It's kind of hindering them a little bit. You see the wolves just kind of get in. The NPCs get a little bit confused. They move back to this center position where their orders are set to. And the wolves are just a little bit confused as well who to aim for. But once the NPCs do aim on the wolves, they do back away. They take down one wolf nicely. This one gets a little hit on Stash there. You see we've got Fish Stick on this side over here, taking a little bit of damage against the wolf. They're aiming in on the wolf. They defeat the wolf there. We've got Boss Herald on the back side. They turn and aim towards the Boss Herald. Boss Herald still TPing around. We've got the two NPCs aiming in the boss. Boss Herald takes down Stash right there. 
Fishstick doesn't know what's going on. He's looking around with his futuristic tab and not noticing what Boss Harold's doing. And she goes ahead and summons another two wolves going in for the Boss Fishstick. Fishstick's now a little bit confused completely. He's aiming in on Boss Harold. The two wolves going for Fishstick, biting him once on the leg, going in again. Another wolf moving over to this far side, trying to take some cover behind the pole on the right. Fishstick missing his shots there, going at the Herald, but then also decides to switch over to the wolf. The wolf gets another hit there on the Fishstick, misses its second hit though. Fishstick's definitely super low here, no longer has any more shield, so he is going to be in a difficult situation. Two wolves, Herald's still on the ball, Fishstick's still standing, he takes down one of the wolves. The other wolf's moving in on Fishstick, goes round the bat. Fishstick takes out with his AR. It's now Herald, the Fishstick here, in a 1v1 situation. She's TP'd behind him, she's aiming in on Fishstick here, dealing a ton of damage to him. You see Herald does TP to the front here now. Fishstick v Herald, one on one combat here against each other with the guns, and it looks like the Herald does take the Fishstick down against that post. But it's not over yet, like I said, we'll give it another shot with three NPCs. Okay, so jumping back in, this time we're going to hire three NPCs. These three NPCs are going to come from different POIs. This time, I'm going to be going to get to the one at the Jones, because that is an extra NPC to get on our list. And that's going to be, it looks like, Relax Fit Jonesy in this game here. Ah, oh, there's a player right, right on me. Let's get out of here. Okay, gramified out. Easy. Switching straight over, though, you can see we've arrived with our three NPCs. We've got Relax Fit Jonesy, Stashed, and the Fish Stick. Will the NPCs be able to take on Boss Harold? This time, we're going to be watching from the top. We're going to summon our NPCs on a countdown all together, and all of my team are going to summon them in right now. Here we go. The team summons them in. Here we go. Summoning them in. NPC are moving into the battle. Boss Harold's in a position in the middle with the huge ball around her, protecting herself from the shield. And the NPCs do charge on in right here. So here you can see Boss Harold summons that shield. The NPCs don't do any damage at all, get one hit on her. And then the wolves come straight in for the NPCs and start pounding them. But now there's three NPCs to focus on the wolves, which gives them a little bit of an advantage here because the wolves are outnumbered here. One of the wolves goes down, dealing hardly any damage, only a little bit to stash. Another one gets double hit there on Fish Stick. And also Relax Fit takes a little bit of damage there. Harold comes out of her ball. She switches over to the backside over here again on top of the stairs but this time she decides to actually target towards us this is wasting a little bit of time for the boss hell but it's okay she switched straight back over to the npcs aiming in at all three of them not knowing which one to target is not a good idea for the boss though you can see over here the boss now summons in more of the wolves going for the henchman the fish sticks doing all right dealing a bunch of damage to this wolf over here we've got jones on the other side dealing damage to that wolf there and stash actually just taking out these wolves so easily they're just like bait to him he does not mess around once they're all stood here they're in a good position now the herald comes out of the ball as soon as the wolves are down down, and the NPCs are trying their best to deal damage to Harold as much as possible. A little bit of a replay glitch. I'm sorry if it looks a little bit cutty. It's just because of the replay glitch with Harold. We have to keep rewinding it. But that's okay. Harold's actually aiming in on all three of these. Dealing a bunch of damage. The ball does come around Harold again. The Harold ball is protecting her. The wolves are summoned. Will the NPCs be able to take on these wolves this time? It looks like they should be able to. They're not having many problems with them. Stash taking a little bit of damage. There. He's still got his full shield though. Well, not exactly full, but he's still got over shield, which is really nice. The Herald now has a shield cracked, and the NPCs are going crazy on the Herald right here, dealing enough damage to get the elimination, and that's got to be a GG to the NPC side of stuff. Don't forget, if you get a free moment, guys, take a screenshot of the toy grab code, head on in the map, let me know in the comments what you think of it. I'll be looking at what you guys think of the map. It's brand new, so I'd love some feedback. Yeah, head on in, let me know. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.